folks, here we are, day two of the Elite Prem <laughs> Tournament Grand Final. Uh, another beautiful morning. Um, caught up with the top three from yesterday. Here we have sitting in third place Josh Alley and Brian Webb from teamdistech.com.au Tari. Um, boys, how are you feeling today? Pretty confident. Yeah? Good. yeah. Got your spots marked out? Yep. Yeah. That's right. And so what happened yesterday? How did you go? Real good. Yeah, yeah? Give us a bit of a run down. Uh, first up, we hit the wall this morning, yep. early in the morning. Yep. Um, first several throws, two pound line, drop some keggers. Yep. Uh, lesson learnt, yep. going heavy this morning. Yep. Uh, Josh got three on the cranker crabs. Oh yeah, nice. Um, Holding the team up like you. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I lost a couple, but that's the way it goes. Uh, good, good, good. Moved to our second spot. Yep. It wasn't that far away. Yep. Um, I got, was it, 30? Yeah, it was 30. 30, 32, I think it was. Yep. Straight up. Yep. Nice. There's my fish in the Good off the bat, yeah. And then we got another one from there. We moved to our third spot. Yep. He pulled out the biggest one yeah, of the day. Yeah, got a, uh, about a 34 forker. Yeah, nice. Was, got a nice fish. What was that on? That was on, um... Uh, Z-Man Grub and Distech Jigged Lures. Yep. Uh, two pound line? Yeah, straight for, two pounds straight through. <laughs> uh, fishing a bit of structure, so you know, it's a bit hairy there for a yeah. bit there, but we got her out, so it was good. Uh, that's the way, and similar game plan today, hitting the balls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we're going to yeah. smash it, smash right. it straight up and then hit our second spot and just go hard. So, you know, right, that's the plan. So, yeah. Alright guys, 2.91, best of luck today. Cheers, mate. Thanks for your time. Thanks. Alright guys, we've got Mark Mulligan here. Sitting in second place with a 2.92 bag, five fish. Um, how's it feel, mate? It feels good now. Yeah? Felt like crap yesterday. Yeah. Couldn't even make three kilos, and I think I'm looking at the fish and thinking, well, like they're all Jenny Craig fish. They're, yeah. they're slim. all pretty slim. Yep. Um, well, definitely a small bag yesterday. I mean, yeah, so I weighed, in, I weighed in first and sort of. The fourth bag behind me weighed three and a half kilos, so I thought I'm buggered, yep. and went home. Oh, so you didn't know you went second till this morning? No, I poured, oh, I went home, poured jig heads, beefed up the gear because I got spat out too many times yesterday, and yep. so that was it. Did you get busted off? Oh, oh yeah, freight trains out there. I mean, I got jig heads coming back that looked like snapper had been at them. Really? Oh yeah, it was massively uh, destroyed. Jeez, that sounds all right then. Yeah, oh yeah, there was some big, there was some things with big teeth out there. Similar game plan as yesterday? Well, that's all I've got. Yeah, that's it. I'm a one-trick pony. <laughs> okay. I either fish the middle wall or I fish the break walls. That's all I know. Oh, it worked I out just, well. Yeah, but I chase two the same way. So I think a lot of the teams actually got them all on the rock wall. So it seems like that's where the fish are holding up this time. Good thing. I mean, oh, that moon over there. That's that's still they come down, do I presume? Yeah. That's, well, that's when the dew come down. So they must be coming down to eat something. Yeah. Obviously. So bring the spawning and all that. I presume they do it down the end. All right. Well, I don't know. Sounds good to me. Sounds like a story. <laughs> Anyway, right. So yes, yeah, so I had fun and uh, same game plan today. Everything was on plastics to start off with, it, and I upgraded on cranker crabs. So yeah. I was, until yesterday, I was a cranker crab uh, virgin. Okay, and, first uh, time. Yeah, and I still came back with it. Really? Yeah. So that was a start. That's unheard of. So I've got, a, I've got more rig today. Yeah, so, I can uh, imagine. And beefed up everything. So because they're just like getting smoked too often, like yeah. um, What's even eight, What's even eight, well, even eight pound um, liters were way too small. Really? Yeah. So what did you bust it up? What did you pumped up to today? Well, I got twelves on now, so we'll just see. But I mean, yeah, honestly, when you when you're going in with your reel locked up and you still can't slow them up, Jesus. like it's sort of. Oh yeah, there was there were some serious things going on out there. I don't for one minute think they'll necessarily brim. Yep. Some were. Yep. There's no doubt. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I couldn't. Hopefully you can land them today. I'd love to. I'm going to jump you up real quick. Yeah. So, so first and second, all single boaters. Yeah. Makes it's it strange, easy. Isn't it? Oh, yeah, well, no one else can put up with me. <laughs> so it's easy. Thanks, Mark. No Best of luck today, mate. Thank you. You too. Thanks. Catch you up. Alrighty, we've got first place here with us today, Josh Reed, uh, another single angler. Um, sitting very nice with a 3.55 bag, was it? Yeah. Yep, it's five fish. Um, biggest brim went 40 centimetres, yep? Yeah. Nice. And what was that caught on? Uh, that was caught on a plastic, oh, just yep. off the um, rock walls. Okay, and so, speaking to the other two teams, they're all fished the rock walls. Seems yep. like the rock walls are goer. Yep. Same plan for camp plan yep. today? Yep, I'm not going to change it, so that's the way. stick to what I know. That's the way, that's the way. And what size line leader were we running? I was running 8 pound yesterday, yep. and 4 pound on my plastics. Okay, nice. And, um, I don't know, I think that's about it. Sleep yep. well last night? 
No. No? Had a terrible sleep. Yep, yep. <laughs> Too anxious about today? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you'll be right, Time mate. for today. Go out and smash it. Thank you. Thanks, bud. Cheers, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> okay, guys, um, the main thing you got to remember today is it's a one o'clock finish. <coughs> so, back here, key tag in the bucket by one o'clock. Um, we're going to have everything set up on the beach, ready to go, so hopefully as soon as we do the weigh-in, it should only take us five or ten minutes to make sure we check the two days' results of the calculations, and we'll do the presentation straight away. So, basically, we're hoping that within the, the last guy weighing in, we'll be doing the presentation within ten minutes, so you'll all hopefully be out by two o'clock if we're lucky. Um, same as yesterday, all the rules are the same, all the same areas are out of bounds, there's no strong wind warning, so it's going to be good weather out there. We know the fish are out there because we know one person in particular has been uh, whacking a few big ones. He's got a smile on his face <coughs> and he's got the nerves going, but that's all right. Yeah, right. <laughs> we won't make it any worse for you, mate. <laughs> so Josh is leading it. He's fishing by himself, so he's done an absolute fantastic job yesterday when he came in with three and a half kilos. That's a great bag for this time of year. Um, and I know there's about six more teams hot on his tail, so today should be a pretty good day out there and hopefully we'll get a good result at the end of the day. And remember, first prize is two grand cash, so don't be shy, chase those big ones, because that's what you're going to need today to make sure you take it out. So what we'll do is the same as yesterday, we'll start at the end of the pontoon, I'll get everybody in their boats if they could come to this side, so when I call your name you can come close to the pontoon and then, then head out. So you can all jump in your boats and get ready. Disco Marine. Pleasing the prizes. Well done, mate. 
Yeah, I, I know that you don't mind the protest <laughs> day, so that was pretty easy decision, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Especially when you Okay, in eighth place we have a uh, single angler by himself, another regular in the prizes all the time, with 5.245 John Siggs. Siggsy! Hey, hey, you don't get to choose, you just get what's last. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Rightio, we'll go to fourth place now. With a total of 5.695 for the weekend, was Mark Mulligan. Irregular. There's your cash, mate, and there's your prize pack. Thank you very much. No worries, thanks. In third place, with 5.955, who was leading after day one, was Team Addicted Fishing Co. Josh. Another single angler, eh? Goes to show you can do pretty good by yourself. There you go, mate. A bit of cash, a bit of prize pack. Well done. No worries. Thank you. Now, in second place, with 6.690 for the weekend, coming home with a four kilo plus bag on the last day is Team, it says Sea Mullet Trappers, but I think it's Tully Morgan Sea Mullet Trappers, I think it is. <laughs> go on boys, down you go. That was a fantastic bag you got there for the last day. So you get a thousand dollars cash, second place. Nice pack. You just want to tell everybody a little bit about what you did today to get that four kilo bag? No, don't have to give any secrets away, but I know they want them. We stayed down the middle wall early this morning, threw cranker crabs. Every fish we got in that bag comes from cranker crabs. And we went out the end of the wall just a while ago and upgraded three more times. South wall. wall. North wall, of it. All on cranker crabs. Well done. That was a good bag. Thanks, guys. Okay, so our winner with a total of 6.815 for the weekend, also collecting the big brim prize of 1.170, was Team Fillet Release, and they also had a 3.915 kilo bag to come home today. Well done, guys. Get to load up a little bit. There's a prize pack. $2,000 cold hard cash. And also, Big Grim Prize in there for you. Very well done. Just want to let everyone know a little bit about what you did over the weekend and how it was all done. Uh, we spent a fair bit of time down the front there on the north wall. Majority on Frank Crab, a few upgrades. Uh, from the uh, Yamba Blade. Yeah, Frank Crab. Everybody's had a, a pretty good year. It's been, uh, it's been definitely a fun weekend from my side of things. I've had a good time down here and I haven't even been fishing. So we're going to have to make sure that we get more of these roll-ups more often and make it a good weekend for everyone. So thanks a lot for coming along, guys. And uh, hopefully we'll see you when we work out, work out next year's season. Thanks a lot, everyone. Cheers. Uh, Cheers. 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 Cheers.